So while I do believe wholeheartedly, if Chris Christie had anything to do with this, he absolutely not only should be impeached, he should be charged. A lady lost her life. You can't repay that with jail time. Over a political agenda? Are you kidding me? Put their butts in jail. But you know what? President Obama is just as guilty and more so than Governor Chris Christie. So does that mean we let Chris Christie go? Absolutely not. Put them both in jail where they belong. Here's another statement from the Daily News. Chris Christie's career will be over if he is lying about Bridgegate involvement, ex-Mayor Rudy Giuliani stated. Now, as I said again, I agree with that. However, I find it absolutely ironic, hypocritical, and disgusting as it has been proven time and time and time again that the Obama administration and President Obama himself have lied over investigations, Benghazi, Fast and Furious, the IRS scandal, the list goes on and on and on, and no one in the Democratic Party is standing up and calling for his impeachment, and that is absolutely inexcusable. So as the New York Daily News states, the embattled New York, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie can kiss his career and his White House dreams goodbye if he is lying about not being personally involved in the Burgoning Bridgegate scandal. Really? Because President Obama lies every day to the people. He's got so many scandals that it is insane. He has been proven lying about them time and time again, yet he still sits in the White House. So are we to truly believe that someone who follows the path of the same politicians who are sitting in the White House right now won't get a chance at becoming President of the United States? Could we, the people, have such a hope that we would not have to deal with a leader that doesn't know the truth if it slapped him in the face. When are we going to hold these people accountable for what they do? When are people going to start receiving jail time for their corruption? When are we going to have someone with a good moral standard in our White House. Will we ever see that again? Giuliani stated, If for some reason Christie's denial is not true, the man has put his political career completely at risk. Giuliani added, if it turns out there is some evidence that he knew about it, he's taking a complete risk and his political career is over. Wow. I'm going to scroll down here because I really want to point this out again. This is the assemblyman from New Jersey. And he states, We are no long, longer looking just at lane closures. New Jersey State Assemblyman John Wanowski said, We are looking at an abuse of power and an attempt to cover up that abuse of power. Let that sink in for a minute. We are looking at an abuse of power and an attempt to cover up that abuse of power. And while 
I agree that they should be looking at that. It is disgusting that President Obama himself has abused his power and attempted to cover up that abuse of power whether it be with IRS, whether it be with Fast and Furious, whether it be with his executive orders and his illegal uh, means of gun control through the health care system, whether it be his, if you like your health care, you can keep it, whether it be the NSA spying, all of it, whether it be the different appointments that he has made illegally that is hitting the Supreme Court now. We as a nation need to realize it's not Democrat, it's not Republican, it's not Tea Party. It's American. It is an American issue. It's not black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, purple, pink, or polka, polka dot. It is a humanity issue, a human being issue. And until we stop allowing these political, paid-off pundits to lie, cheat, steal, rob, and everything else they do through their political corruption and their contacts that is attacking every American citizen, every one of us are being attacked from within and the only time mainstream media will cover it is when it has Republican covered in the top. We need to start holding these officials responsible, not only impeaching them, but sending them to the place where they deserve to be, and that is behind bars. And that is including people in the Democratic Party and in the Republican Party. They do not care and they do not stand for their oath. They do not care for the American people, no matter how much you want to be under that illusion that they do, they don't. Tell me the last time they called your phone to ask you what is it they can do for you. Tell me the last time you saw them out in the street trying to help somebody. Tell me while they're trying to push quote unquote inequality while they're stealing your money blind and putting it in their pockets. If they're so concerned about inequality, why don't they give up some of their millions and millions of dollars to help those poor people? And I'll tell you why. Because they don't mind stealing from other people but you can believe they don't want to give their money to help with anything that is worth lifting up humanity. So while I completely agree with this Democratic Assemblyman, if Chris Christie is lying, absolutely. It is an abuse of power. Covering up that abuse of power is, is not acceptable. While I agree that if Chris Christie is proven to be involved with it, he should not only be impeached, but I think that he should be charged with involuntary manslaughter because of the lady that lost her life due to Bridgegate. But I also feel, in the same token, President Obama, who called for all those things to be closed down, who had World War II veterans actually attacked by his police, quote-unquote, police officers, at a peaceful demonstration and they took a nightstick and they hit an elderly World War II veteran. Did that not also cause damage? What about the elderly that were kicked out of their homes because of President Obama's temper tantrum? Are we going to continue to buy into the two-party paradigm, which is nothing but a lie? Or are we going to unite as American citizens and say enough is enough? Why is it only pointed out by mainstream media when it is 
one party. What was worse? One bridge shut down or an entire nation? Yet no Democrat that I know of, and if they did, I sure didn't hear it, spoke out and said the same thing that this assemblyman is saying for Governor Chris Christie. They surely didn't say it about Obama. And that angers me. So remember when you say, well, that's not true. Remember that Democratic assemblyman that specifically did quote that using a public resource to exact a political vendetta is a crime which is something that we all knew in the first place but nobody did anything about it because apparently certain people feel like President Obama is untouchable and what people need to realize he is a man he puts his pants on the same way you do He is not invincible and he is not all powerful. The only reason he has so much power is because people allow him to have that power. All right, well, that's all I have to say for now. I hope you think about what I've said. If you agree with this video, please thumbs up it, share it. And I will post links below to each of these articles. God bless you. And I hope that this brings a reality to not only the hypocrisy and the double standard, but more so, I hope this grips a reality to everybody who is in America and letting them know we all need to stand together. Every one of us. God bless you and good night.